ERC stands for Emergency Responder Radio Communication Systems, or DAS, which is Bidirectional Antenna Systems. They're, they're basically the same thing. Um, they're utilized within commercial and residential buildings to allow emergency responders to communicate with each other uh, via two-way radio in areas that they, pro they pro may not have been able to in the past. The system is an amplification system. So basically it amplifies um, the radio signals that the first responders uh, uh, radios uh, utilize. ERCs and DAFs have been around for a long time. Um, the need for them were they brought, were brought to the forefront more during the incident happened during 9-11. Um, during that whole thing, um, a lot of confusion happened and a lot of uh, the inability for emergency responders to communicate with each other was going on. So this brought these systems to the forefront. They needed a new, a better way to ensure that um, they would able to be able to talk to each other in case of emergency. The requirements for ERCs used to be uh, any building that was three stories or had subterranean parking would be required to be tested for ERCs to see what the signal strength was. Now it's pretty much any building. So any building, doesn't matter the size really, the uh, building department can come in and say, and this is primarily for new construction, they haven't gone after uh, existing buildings or anything like that yet. Um, but any new building that's being built, um, the, the building department or the fire department can come in and say that we want this thing tested for signal strength and it may require um, a system in that building. The, these consist of one system throughout the building. It depends on the size of the building and the layout. Um, uh, there, there may be additional amplifiers and that type of thing. The number of antennas that are installed uh, in the buildings is dependent upon what's called a heat map. Um, and that heat map is generated through what's called a, a sweep test or a, a 20 grid test. Um, basically what that is, is um, we go through the building with a spectrum analyzer and either a, an actual fireman's radio handset or a, a, a signal generator. We go through, we break the building up into 20 sections. We test the building in, in each one of those sections. Um, with software, it gives us a report and a heat map that shows where we have coverage and where we're lacking coverage. Uh, there's an ongoing need for testing and inspections on these types of systems, just like you would have for a fire alarm system. It's an actual requirement um, of the fire department. These tests are assisted, tested annually. Um, they go through and basically do that 20 grid test on an annual basis, generating that heat map, generating all the reports. All those reports go back to the um, building department, fire department for approval. Um, there's a lot of things that can affect these systems. It's, it's basically all it is is a, a, a radio signal amplifier that's typically on a 700 or 800 megahertz um, frequency. Some of the other jurisdictions, some all jurisdictions are different. Some of them use different frequencies, but primarily they're all going to the seven, eight hundred megahertz frequency. So that test is is done on an annual basis to ensure that the integrity of the system is still operational. Um, there's a lot of outside forces, like you know, there could be a building built next door to the you know your building, and it could affect the signal. Or tenant improvement work inside the building can affect it as well. A requirement for new buildings that they have out now that um, basically brings um, the efficiency of the building to a higher level. So in California, we're really big on LEED. You know, um, they want you know to have e glass, which is like a type of glass that doesn't allow to use heating or cooling through it. Uh, the insulation's different. Um, all these things, but it all contributed to affecting. Um, you know, an ERC system, it, it can affect it in a way that we need more, you know, amplification within the building because of it. 